Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, select this ball layer and press P. Let's create first position two frames and move to left. And go to 10 two frames. For Shatka, you can press Hold Shift, press Page Down Keyboard. And let's move to right and move to down like this. And let's select this two frame. Let's move to right for more slowly and go to middle and move to up and move to right like this. Okay, select two frames and right click two frame assistant and easy or click F9 and preview animation. Okay. So, in this time, select this last shift frame, move to right, and middle shift frame, move to center, and go to middle shift frame. Go to hold this icon, and choose convert vertex tool, and make smooth graph. Clearization tool, preview animation. Okay, and let's see. Select last shift frame. Let's move to left, and this graph, move to left. Okay, go to graph editor, select these two frames, move to left and this move to right for more slowly. And move to left more. And this graph move to right. And select these two two frames, move to right for more slowly and smooth animation. Nice, go to graph editor again and select this graph. Let's make smooth like this. Back to two frames and hold shift press R, open rotation. Go to first two frame and create new rotation two frame. Go to last two frame, change rotation one. Let's see. Select rotation two frames, make it easy. Okay, that's good. And in this time, Let's select this layer grid, go to solo and click this icon for see background and let's add puppet pin tools. Go to puppet pin tool, add one here, one here, here and here. Okay, so for this part, I will create null object and I will use expression for link it. Let's add one here and one here and less one here clearization tool and select this grid press u for c active two frames and select this puppet pin tool two frames move the left for first two frame and go to here select this puppet this is puppet pin six let's click enter and write one select this puppet press enter write two and this puppet, right three. So in this time, go to layer, new and null object. And move to here, this null object for move to anchor point center. Holds control, double click, pen behind icon. For move to center, this anchor point. Clearization tool and move to here. So this is name one. And let's control D for duplicate. Move to right. Again, Ctrl D for duplicate, move to right. Let's copy this expression. I will add this expression on the expression below. Let's select and copy. And go to puppet pins. This is puppet pin one. Let's hold Alt, click this icon for open expression. And Ctrl V for paste expression. And click this icon for go to up. And new layer name, let's choose this new layer, delete. We can write one or we can choose here null object one. And for down expression, we can click this empty area. And select this null object, let's see. Okay, that's good. We can control this grid with null object. So let's make some ways for puppet pin two. Hold Alt, click time icon. Control V, go to up choose new layer name let's delete and choose here null object 2 and click here for down expression and again hold alt click 
puppet pin 3 and let's control V go to app choose new layer name delete select here null object 3 click here for down expression and select null 1 let's see okay null 2 nice and let's one null 3 it works so let's unsolo all of them layers and in this time select this null 1 2 3 press p open position and let's see timing okay in this time let's create new pass in keyframes and go to 10 keyframes let me show other way for go to 10 keyframes click time duration and write plus 10 click ok for go to 10 keyframes and select this null 1 let's move to the left like this and null 2 let's move to down and null 3 move to right and go to 10 keyframes select null 3 move to the left and null 2 move to up and for better and natural animation we can follow this anchor point points and null 1 let's move to right again go to 10 keyframes let's null 1 move to left like this and null 2 move to down and null 3 move to right like this again go to 10 keyframes let's move to left this null Again, let's go 10 frames. Move to right here. Again, 10 frames for bounce animation. Move to left and last one. Select first two frame, copy pass. And select two frames, make it easy. And let's preview animation. Nice. It's much more realistic. And select null 2. Let's continue here. Let's see. Okay, go to 10 frames, move to up here, again 10 frames, move to down, again 10 frames, move to up here, and last two frames, select first two frame, copy pass. And make it two frames easy and preview animation. Nice, realistic. And let's layer one, let's go to here. Okay, go to 10 frames. Let's move to right. Again, 10 frames. Move to left. Again, move to right. And last one, say first two frame, copy pass. Make two frames easy. And preview animation. And let's select this grid. Go to solo and preview animation. Nice. So, for random animation, select these two frames. Q frames of null object 2, move to right, and this move to right like this. Let's see. Nice, that's good. Let's unsolo a grid layer and pre animation. Okay, so Q frames, move to left. Nice. So for speed animation, say Q frames, hold alt, move to left. Let's see. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.